all right guys welcome back to the channel hill creek outdoors look what we had today actually it was yesterday we had the john deere 1025r out doing the pasture grading with the rear implement there land plane or landscaping rake and we had a blowout to the front tire look at this thing it got all tore up so what are we going to do today we're going to show you how to replace this we're actually going to take it off and then we're going to get a new r4 tire and i'll tell you exactly what kind of tire it is don't forget to like and subscribe let's get right into it all right guys so i apologize today on the uh, audio we're going to do the best we can but audio thing the clips i uh, got was dead and I figured we could make do without having to get a new one there. So we'll get this uh, jack ready, but we're gonna break these loose. The uh, you're gonna need a three quarter inch socket. I'm gonna drop the tractor down, and that way we can get the pressure off. Once we break them loose, we'll use the impact wrench to take it off. And there's five of them here. So you got five. Here, let me raise this up now. Raise that up, get this jack jacked up under it, and then we're gonna take this over and um, get a new R4. These are R4s that are on the uh, tractor currently. Um, I know they got these new R14s, but since we're just replacing one, we're gonna go ahead and just replace it with the R4. That way, it's not too out of sync anyway. It's gonna look completely different because the tread's gonna be a lot more than the other ones around. It's a new tire, so, but we're not gonna spend the money to replace all of them. So let's take all five of these out. So you can see how dirty, you can see how dirty this is, guys. We'll clean that off a little bit once we get back. Get all this nasty duck, dirt and stuff out, inspect everything. But once you take your bolts out, you can just throw them right back in here so you don't lose them until we get back. The jack will hold it up uh, because the hydraulic will lose pressure and you don't want it to fall down on here and have issues there. So make sure you have a, a stable jack underneath of it. And if you're working, you might want to chalk it as well. So we're going to throw these in here. And then we're going to run over to the... Uh, the actual John Deere dealer does not um, sell these, at least our local dealer does not sell the new tires. They reverted this to a tire shop in our local area. So local tire shop that sells tractor tires is gonna help us out. We're gonna take this over there. They're gonna mount the new one on there and then uh, we'll bring it back and throw it back on. All right guys, so here you go. This is the blowout. Look at that, it just completely blue. There's the rubber inside. It's all nasty, I don't know what, why it's all wet, unless something got in there. But this is the R4s that come on the John Deere 1025R. These were straight from the factory. You can see the size there, 18 point, or 18 by 8.5 by 10 inch or you can go by this goofy number up here i don't know why they have it big but most of your tire shops are going to go by that so let's take this over there and uh, get a new tire on it we'll throw it on once we get back you know, whenever you have a piece of equipment either it be a tractor or a side by side or basically anything that you're going to use on a, a farm or any place you live or work 
um, you're always going to have issues that come up. So, you know, making sure that you have the ability to do work on things, number one, or use certain tools to where you can take it out, get it fixed is, is a key factor. Um, you got to make sure you, you have local dealerships, um, local areas that you can utilize to get things taken care of. So like for our instance, we have this uh, tire shop that's pretty close. We don't have to drive a very long distance. Now I know some of you across the country probably um, don't have things readily available depending on where your location is. So we are lucky enough to have that. But I will say um, when purchasing a type of equipment, whatever it may be, keep that in mind because that's one thing that you are gonna have to deal with. Um, things happen. Make sure that you have the ability, number one, parts are available for whatever equipment you have. Um, make sure that you have places you can get those parts. If you pick some random Joe Schmo brand, nothing against those brands, but sometimes you might not be able to find parts for it. Or maybe even a model over the years that wasn't very popular, you might have an issue getting parts and. It might come down to the fact where you can't find a part and then you're just you're out of luck and you lost your money in it you have to sell it you lose money and, that, and that's just no good for anybody so you know just wanted to hit those couple points here while we were driving was you know make sure that you you do your research whenever you buy a piece of equipment because it is inevitable things are going to happen things are going to break especially when you work it so we're almost over here to the tire shop we're going to get this put on and we'll catch you back there at the barn to throw the tire back on. All right, guys, we are back. There it is, the new tire thrown on the rim. You can see that tread. It is a different tire. This is a Skid Power HD. Same exact size, though, 18 by 8, 50, 10. So it will look a little bit different. So here you go beside the factory tire. It's got the same tread pattern as the other one. Obviously the tread is much thicker on the new one. Same tread pattern now, um, but it is just a different brand you can see here. So that one's a little dirty, but that's them together. Let's go ahead and get this thrown on on the other side. All right, hey, I will tell you guys something while I'm cleaning this off a little bit here. Um, on the other side, we did have a valve stem that, a valve stem that popped off. And you have to check out our, we put a little, we made a short video on it, um, how to change that valve stem. It happened out in the field and we popped a new valve stem in there and that was for the actual, the other side there and got that all fixed. So check that out, it'll be up here somewhere for you guys to, to reference. But I'm gonna keep getting this cleaned off and then we're gonna, we're not gonna clean it off all the way. We're just gonna get some of this dust off and then we'll go ahead and mount this tire back on. Once you get all these bolts taken out, out put them down here to the side, give you a little trick. You've probably seen it in other videos I've done. Well, especially with uh, the F-250 truck, if you just put your foot under here, it's kind of a little trick to help hold it because this has opposite. This is not like a vehicle where you have lug nuts. These are actual bolts that go on. And always hand start your bolts. Don't ever use power tools. Don't ever use power tools to start any bolt. Always use your hand. So we'll get all the all four of these on here. Or five, I'm sorry. And then we'll take the impact wrench, snug it down, we'll lower it down. And we'll torque it down. So 
So whenever you torque something down, always go in a star pattern. I'm sure you all know that, but I shouldn't have to tell you that, but go in a star pattern and it will torque it down right. So with any change in any tire, a vehicle, you name it. So we're just gonna snug these down. And then what I'll do, I don't have any, uh, I don't have a torque wrench with me. But what I can do, take this little bar, get a little bit more leverage on it, torque it down. That's how we'll do it. As long as they're snug, we're good to go. Two more. And last one. All right, guys, got it all taken care of. Uh, don't forget that the tire size for the John Deere 1025R is going to be a 18 by 8.50 uh, 10 inch rim. And this one here is a Skid Power brand. Not the same as what comes from the factory, but hey, it has the same tread pattern and it's going to do the trick. Um, all out the door, this cost uh, the new tire installed and everything from the tire shop costs about $120. It's going to give or take based upon your area and um, what's going on at the time in regards to prices. So if it wasn't that hard of a thing. Don't forget to make sure that you check the torque as you're driving around. Make sure it's not coming loose. Make sure it's aired up before you get out there and start working. Hey, we appreciate you guys coming back to the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, we're on Hill Creek Outdoors. We'll see you.